Hey, hey, long time no see. If you can't tell, I was away for a little bit due to the big bad C sickness. Had it pretty bad. It took like three weeks until I was pretty much recovered, but I mean, I just stayed at home and yeah, I'm okay, but it was rough. It was painful and I don't wish it upon anyone. So stay safe out there. We're gonna do a couple videos on the last couple weeks of Life by You updates. Thankfully, one week was Thanksgiving, so they didn't really have an update. So I'm only behind by like two weeks. This will be the first video. This is going over the one that was posted 10 days ago about cooking in the game. And they also have a blog post. So we're gonna go over the blog post, talk about it, and I'll tell you my thoughts about how I feel like the cooking system looks in this game. So yeah, with that being said, let's hop in to watching the video. So here's the tweet. Uh, Join community man manager Rocio as she gives you a preview of all the topics covered in our game designer Lauren's blog about cooking. And then we're going to go over the blog post. Hi everyone, it's Rocio, community manager with Life yeah, by You, and I'm here I to talk this. to you about cooking. I miss this. A quick note up top that we do have a blog so. accompanying this video. It is in the description below by our game designer Lauren who worked on this feature. So if you want more information, this will have some of the basics, but the blog goes into more detail. Without further ado, let me go into some of the topics that Lauren covers in her food, blog, food, food including the different types of meals. We have three okay. main food categories, including breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So here you can see cereal and milk is a breakfast option. Ham and cheese sandwich is a lunch option. And you can unlock more options as you level up your cooking skill. She also goes into the different types of cooking. So, for example, her shoulders this looked really tight using the refrigerator. holding the plate. You can also cook on the That's counter and on the stove, that felt a as little well bit as the wrong. barbecue, which you can see in the blog. One other thing Probably you'll notice on this screen is this Get orange icon. It's basically telling toast. you whether or not you have <laughs> the number of ingredients Ooh, you need for good that variety recipe. of stuff. So, really. for example, here you can see I'm missing four different ingredients. It'll cost and you do me need the ingredients plus a four dollar delivery <clears> fee to get these and make this oh. fruit and cheese plate. Antonia doesn't have the best stocked fridge right now, as you might be able to tell. She just started. So you can order the groceries house. to get delivered, so I'm but go it costs more. So go ahead and make a green salad because it's the only thing she has the ingredients. Or for. you can go to a You're grocery store yourself, with this probably recipe too. And with this animation, but just in case you forgot, here she is chopping her vegetables. Chop, chop, chop. Looks good. A quick note here that we're continuing to work on animations yeah, of course, and of art, course. and we're actually on an older build right now while some oh. changes are happening in our newer Ooh. builds. Oh, so you might changes. notice some things out of date or missing icons. They're in the newer build. We're just not on that build right now. Oh, that's good to know. One other topic that Lauren covers in the blog is how to improve your cooking. Naturally, cooking improves your cooking, as you can see. Cooking here improves your cooking. No, I wouldn't have guessed. Cooking plate by plate. Intimidate but the fridge. But you can also actually increase your cooking by looking at others cook as well as reading books that help you books, with the okay. skill. And watching other people cook. We're yeah. going to have Antonia just Chicken cook salad. in order oh, I to love increase that. her level. Chicken but Caesar salad. Right like now she's favorite. kind of short on ingredients and I don't want to just keep ordering online. So let's make some pancakes and actually go to the store to pick up those ingredients. Yeah, awesome. And we are on our way. I'm going to go ahead and speed this up so that we can get back in time for breakfast, I guess. <laughs> making pancakes brunch <laughs> now that we're at the friendly food mart you can see that there are different displays each of which have different types of food available mm -hmm, to them mm -hmm. so looks good for example i know since we're making pancakes we want to have milk eggs and flour let's start at the refrigerated section and here you just click on the display click shop if you watched our crafting video it's very similar to how you yeah. shop online you just okay. shop in store so you click on sense. it place in cart or one click buy once you have it in the cart, I'll show you, but you can just go ahead and buy them all at once. You can also, of course, just double tap. That's much faster. I good, am not really good, paying good. attention to what I'm buying at this point. I'm just kind of stocking up my fridge. And if you want a different display, each display has different ingredients I do like in it. So this one has the graphics way more I think the bread needs to look a little better. Like, but like flour, which we do need um, for the pancakes, as well as rice. I do see improvements in the graphic meats. style again. So. Lauren covers this in the blog. And they said this is an older build, so too. So ingredients for you to choose from. And if you do make your own recipes, you can mix and match up oh, to cool. 10 different ingredients. Farm fresh ingredients. And mm. I am absolutely rebuying ingredients I already got. So don't look too Spend closely at what I'm buying. I don't know what I'm making. I After the pancakes, we'll see what makes sense. But let's go ahead and just There's buy so a much. bit of everything. There's so much. It's crazy. Is really low Six dollars for a bottle of mustard? 
And that's a little high, see. but you never know when you might need a bagel. Let's add a couple. Bagels are good. Um, and maybe a pineapple and a plum. Fifteen dollar pineapple. And I'm gonna add just <laughs> you know a little bit of everything. As Lauren mentions in the blog, you can also add your own ingredients. We'll show you how to do that and create your own recipes in a future video. <gasps> Creating your own recipes? Oh yeah. And I want to show like you that. substitutions, I like that. so I'm just gonna get a couple of these to see what we end up making. And before we get out of here, let's check out this specialized display with bread and pastas. As you can see, there's a bunch of different flowers, different fla almond flowers. What? You can just buy all of them and use them. That's so realistic. That's Lauren crazy. That not everything can be substituted for everything, but there are a lot of options. And then they probably have and like oat milk go, and, and almond milk and stuff like that. Herb counter. I like let's oat just milk. Grab a good variety in case we need to substitute anything in this category. Veggies. Herbs, you can, of I course, guess, buy yeah. your food while you're cooking as well as through your computer online. You so they give you all the ways of doing it. If you want to more realistically to go to the grocery store, store the you can, or you can just order delivery. One thing we mentioned in our Q&A video is that you can also grow certain foods, in particular produce. So, for example, but it does cost four dollars, I think, to get food delivered, and then you can grow stuff. Yep. I'll good, grab good, a couple good. more ingredients and then. Check That's gonna out, be so fun, especially because there's like. So many different types of foods that you can make. Definitely now, gives you creative freedom. Now, taking shopping cart, it looks like we have around three hundred dollars worth. Three hundred dollars. That's about right. This is enough to make a couple. That's of about right. <laughs> no. Let's buy all and get out of here. That's a lot. And we're back home with Antonia. I think the only time I spend like three hundred dollars at a grocery stove. store is if I go to like, like I Costco. Before, let's go ahead and make pancakes. Pancakes. Here you can see we have various types of flowers, so I definitely went overboard. But you can replace these flowers. So here I have yeah. almond flower. I have rice so flower. Great. There's a couple of different types that I can pick from. Huh. And you just go ahead and click substitute for the one that you want to replace. Hmm. There's nothing that can replace eggs right now and nothing that can replace the milk. But as Lauren mentions in the blog, certain ingredients are required and can't be substituted. Okay. Let's go ahead and create that. And here's hoping that Antonia can actually make these pancakes lauren mentions in the blog but there is a chance to fail oh no depending on the complexity of the recipe as you can well as fail the recipe it requires and your cooking level if you fail you end up with this really gross looking purple <laughs> stew called slop oh boy and you can find that in our blog that's funny now antonia is like just that. putting the finishing touches on her pancakes and plating them right up Oh, that's so pretty. Antonia, look I'm not how you gorgeous those pancakes look. We're going on to the next recipe. Wow. You might have noticed that those pancakes leveled up our cooking. So let's go see what new recipes we've unlocked at level three. Nice. So here you a can bunch see we of have stuff. a nicer version Better pancakes. of pancakes we just okay, made. Okay, with berries, berries and berries. cream. There's around nine new recipes. Even though that first but I also set looked like they had berries and cream on them. The I don't know if so they should change that. Let me go ahead that, and but... show you what we see when we go to the refrigerator pancakes that they made had berries now and cream on the them. refrigerator and let's see what level three recipes we but then they unlocked here. berries and cream some of the same ones like pad thai but we know. also have a salad and guacamole That's fine. so there Popcorn. are different recipes depending on what you're looking to make and what ingredients you might have on oh hand oh my god there's so much stuff you can Rice. find some other sneak peeks to high level Ooh. recipes in lauren's blog as well as some other ways that cooking can factor into traits and how you can make your own recipes now, before we go, I want to give you proof that I did not starve Antonia. It was another save file in another universe, but she did eat. Okay. I hope you enjoy these few <laughs> seconds of Antonia enjoying her breakfast. Animation Thank still needs so some work, but watching. like they said. And if you don't mind me, I'm starving. On. So I'm going to go eat. See you next time. I do. It's very shiny. The countertop is very shiny, almost a little bit too shiny. So yeah, I think that's a great little overview of just cooking and how the groceries, getting groceries and then making a meal works. It was pretty simple. Very excited to dive into the blog and see more about in-depth stuff. So let's go do that. All right, and here we are back at their blog. They have a delicious new blog post showing us how the cooking system works from start to finish and also making recipes, which is cool. And this is... Lauren, the senior game designer, they've been working on cooking, so of course it makes sense for them to give us the rundown on how it all works. What types of food can you cook? A veritable smorgasbord for all the chefs out there. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Recipes from all over the world for any time of day. Breakfast, apple baked oats, congee, hashbrown and eggs, duck orange, 
gourmet sabzi chicken tiki masala desserts creme brulee oh my god creme brulee is like one of my favorite desserts of all time pastias de nata and bamkuchen and more a hundred recipes will be available at the start of early access and many more to come at full launch yes oh my god it looks so good okay cooking is currently accessible from fridges counten counten kitchen counters uh, stoves and barbecues. During early access, hope to add cooking functionality to more appliances such as microwaves and ovens. Okay. What type of ingredients are there? How does substituting ingredients work? Over 400 ingredients currently in the game. We've got you covered for most culinary needs. What other games can boast five varieties of potato, nine types of flour, and six different cooking oils? Um, literally no life sim has done that. So, <laughs> really love to see the realism and the care going into each individual item that's great why on earth we need six kinds of edible seaweed but this is where substitutions come into play say you're making pancakes yeah they talked about that in the video you can switch out white flour for wheat flour and that will probably be healthier for your sim too you know dietary choices you have better control over your character's way of eating not all recipes allow it though a green salad and a chicken romaine salad call for romaine however only the former allow substitutions so green salad, you can trade the lettuce for like spinach maybe, but romaine, of course, has romaine in it. So you need to make it with romaine. That makes sense. Where can you get the ingredients? Can you buy, find, grow them? Yes, yes, and yes. Oh, that's so great. Currently you can purchase ingredients from stores, grow them through gardening, or find them in troves scattered across the region. Most recipe ingredients can also be auto-bought from the cooking menu for convenience, similar to our four crafting categories you've seen before. Oh yeah, okay, makes sense. Grow your own, this is great. That's that's awesome. How does cooking work? At the start of early access, cooking skill will serve two functions, unlocking recipes and increasing the chance of success. That's very interesting. So like you, you, you can end up with a pile of slop if you fail making it and then it's like probably not as good for you. So you'll want to work on your cooking skill before uh, trying to make eggs benedict. You might want to, you know, learn how to make avocado toast first, right? <laughs> Five to ten new recipes per level, roughly. Okay, and there's a, this is just like all the breakfast ones that are available at each level. Or one breakfast one, which means there's probably more for each level. That's so cool, breakfast pizza. English breakfast, oh yeah, yummy. When a recipe unlocks, it's typically based on real world equivalent factors, such as time to make, number of ingredients, techniques required, margin of error, like baking. <laughs> These factors aren't necessarily simulated one to one through gameplay. Uh, watching your character make pho for seven plus hours isn't the most entertaining use of your time, so we chose to reflect them through their level requirements instead. Okay, that makes sense. The cooking skill also affects the character's culinary success. Every time you cook, there's a small chance the resulting dish won't be the borscht you are desperately craving, but a purple death slop. Shady slop. Best way to get better at cooking is to cook a lot. There are a handful of book items that grant cooking XP as well as passive earning opportunities from observing other characters cook. Learning by doing is still number one. Do any traits tie into cooking? Yes, at the start of early access, we'll have foodie and culinary, a lifestyle trait and a talent trait. The culinary trait will double the cooking XP rewards and make it less likely you will make slop. And the foodie one will draw the characters towards food related activities. So they'll like more likely autonomously cook. Oh my God, that slop looks ridiculous. <laughs> it's like a giant bowl, a pot of slop. Wow, that's insane. Okay. Do recipes have different effects on hunger or otherwise? Special effects granted by cooked meals is something we plan to explore during early access. At the moment, differences are limited to the amount of food satisfaction based on a relative size of the dish. S'mores won't fill you up quite as much as a whole bunk cake. Yeah, okay, it makes sense, makes sense. If you wanted to add your own food and recipes to game, how do we do that? Cooking recipes are added through the recipe section of the item editor, which handles recipes of all forms of crafting. To create a new recipe, select create a new button and fill out the following. The basic info, the name, the type, the display name, and if they have to acquire a level or a certain attribute to learn it. Yeah, that makes sense. Duck Lorange is learned as a quest reward instead of just like learned by doing. That's kind of cool. You can set up like your own recipes and ingredients with whatever ingredients are in the game. They support up to 10 ingredients per recipe. All right, all right. You can set the quantity needed and whether or not the ingredient can be auto-bought from the crafting UI. So you, so you can make it like, oh, you can only go and scavenge this or you can only have to grow this one item and make that for that recipe to make it, you know, legit. 
or more realistic. I don't know. This is so cool. Okay. This is kind of like teaching you about how the system works, but we're not seeing the system. So it's a little weird. It's like, click on this and then it opens up this, but like, we're not looking at that right now. So I'm not going to read all this, but this is a good thing to refer back to when you do start playing the game. Yeah. It just seems like there's a lot of different ways and creative ways to tag ingredients and substitute ingredients. So something that we'll definitely want to get our hands on and try to mess around with when the time comes. I guess that's pretty much it for this uh, update about cooking in Life by You. Again, more wonderful updates that we're seeing from the game. They did say that what we saw was an older build, so I can't wait to see what's on the newer build or whenever that gets shown to us. And I know I still have one more tweet and video to watch, so if you like this one, make sure you leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe so you can see the next videos that come out. I'm hoping to get back to, like I said last time before I got sick, hoping to get back to putting these out on Fridays, you know, right uh, after they post it. So stay tuned for that. Thank you guys for being here and uh, stay safe out there and happy holidays. All right. Bye.